Dual Karnain, Arabic, Do al Karnan Dual Karnain, IPA, ULQARNAJN, He of the Two Horns, or He of the Two Ages, appears in Surah 18 verses 83-101 of the Quran as a figure empowered by Allah to erect a wall between mankind and Gog and Magog, the representation of chaos. The end of the world would be signaled by the release of Gog and Magog from behind the wall, and their destruction by God in a single night would usher in the day of resurrection. Yam al the story entered the Quran through the Alexander Romance, a legendary version of the career of Alexander the Great. Topic: <inaudible> Surat al kaf Surah 18, verses 83 to 101. The story of Dual Karnain is related in Chapter 18, Surat al kaf the cave of the Quran. This chapter was revealed to Muhammad when his tribe, Quraysh, sent two men to discover whether the Jews, with their superior knowledge of the scriptures, could advise them on whether Muhammad was a true prophet of God. The rabbis told them to ask Muhammad about three things, one of them, about a man who traveled and reached the east and the west of the earth, what was his story? If he tells you about these things, then he is a prophet, so follow him, but if he does not tell you, then he is a man who is making things up, so deal with him as you see fit." Verses 18–83–98. The verses of the chapter reproduced below show Dual Karnain traveling first to the western edge of the world where he sees the sun set in a muddy spring, then to the furthest east where he sees it rise from the ocean, and finally northward to a place in the mountains where he finds a people oppressed by Gog and Magog. Topic. The Alexander Romance and Dual Karnain The story of Dual Karnain has its origins in legends of Alexander the Great Current in the Middle East in the early years of the Christian era. According to these legends the Scythians, the descendants of Gog and Magog, once defeated one of Alexander's generals, upon which Alexander built a wall in the Caucasus Mountains to keep them out of civilized lands the basic elements of the legend are found in Flavius Josephus. The Alexander Romance went through much further elaboration in subsequent centuries before eventually finding its way into the Quran through a Syrian version. Alexander was already known as the Two Horned One in these early legends. The reasons for this are somewhat obscure. The scholar Al Tabari (839–923 CE) held it was because he went from one extremity, horn of the world to the other, but it may ultimately derive from the image of Alexander wearing the horns of the ram god Zeus Ammon, as popularized on coins throughout the Hellenistic Near East. The wall may have reflected a distant knowledge of the Great Wall of China the 12th-century scholar Al-Adrisi drew a map for Roger of Sicily showing the land of Gog and Magog in Mongolia, or of various Sassanid Persian walls built in the Caspian area against the northern barbarians, or a conflation of the two, Dual Karnine also journeys to the western and eastern extremities Karns, tips of the earth. In the west he finds the sun setting in a muddy spring, equivalent to the poisonous sea, which Alexander found in the Syriac legend. In the Syriac original Alexander tested the sea by sending condemned prisoners into it, but the Quran changes this into a general administration of justice. In the East both the Syrian legend and the Quran have Alexander, Dual Karnain find a people who live so close to the rising sun that they have no protection from its heat. Karn also means period or century, and the name Dual Karnain therefore has a symbolic meaning as he of the two ages. The first being the mythological time when the wall is built and the second the age of the end of the world when all is sharia, the divine law, is removed and Gog and Magog are to be set loose. Modern Islamic apocalyptic writers, holding to a literal reading, put forward various explanations for the absence of the wall from the modern world, some saying that Gog and Magog were the Mongols and that the wall is now gone, others that both the wall and Gog and Magog are present but invisible. Topic. Dual Karnain in later literature Dual Karnain the Traveler was a favorite subject for later writers. In one of many Arabic and Persian versions of the meeting of Alexander with the Indian sages, the poet and philosopher Al-Ghazali Abu Hamid Muhammad ibn Muhammad Al-Ghazali, 1058-1111 wrote of how Dual Karnain came across a people who had no possessions but dug graves at the doors of their houses, their king explained that they did this because the only certainty in life is death. 
Ghazali's version later made its way into the Thousand and One Nights. The Sufi poet Rumi, Jalal ad Din Muhammad Rumi, 1207 1273, perhaps the most famous of medieval Persian poets, described Dhul Karnayan's eastern journey. The hero ascends Mount Qof, the mother of all other mountains, identified with the Albers Mountains on the northern border of Iran, which is made of emerald and forms a ring encircling the entire earth with veins under every land. At Dhul Karnayan's request the mountain explains the origin of earthquakes, when God wills, the mountain causes one of its veins to throb, and thus an earthquake results. Elsewhere on the great mountain Dhul Karnayan meets Esrafil the Archangel Raphael, standing ready to blow the trumpet on the Day of Judgment. The Malay language Hikayat Iskandar Zulkarnayn traces the ancestry of several Southeast Asian royal families, such as the Sumatra Manankabau royalty, from Iskandar Zulkarnayn, through Raja Rajendra Chola, Raja Surin, Raja Chola in the Malay annals. <laughs> People identified with Dhul Karnayn Muslim and other commentators have identified Dhul Karnayn with Alexander the Great, but some have objected that this cannot be so. Alexander lived only a short time, whereas Dhul Karnayn lived for 700 years as a sign of God's blessing. Alexander behaved very badly while Dhul Karnayn was a paragon, and Dhul Karnayn worshipped only one god, while Alexander worshipped many. Other candidates have been suggested Cyrus the Great, the 6th century BCE Achaemenid Persian conqueror. Imrul Keys died 328 CE, a prince of the Lakhmids of southern Mesopotamia, an ally first of Persia and then of Rome, celebrated in Romance for his exploits. Messiah ben Joseph, a fabulous military savior expected by Yemenite Jews and associated in folklore with Du Nawas, a semi-legendary 6th century Yemenite king. Topic. See also. Alexander the Great in Legend Alexander the Great in the Quran Hikayat Iskander Zulkarnayn References Citations Bibliography Ball, Warwick Rome in the East, The Transformation of an Empire. Routledge. ISBN 9781134823. Berberian, Manuel Earthquakes and Coseismic Surface Faulting on the Iranian Plateau. Elsevier. ISBN 978-0444632975. Beatonholes, Peter G. 1994. Historia and Fabula, Myths and Legends in Historical Thought from Antiquity to the Modern Age. Brill. ISBN 978-9004100633. Cook, David. 2005. Contemporary Muslim Apocalyptic Literature. Syracuse University Press. ISBN 9780815630586. Ernst, Carl W. How to Read the Quran, A New Guide, with Select Translations. University of North Carolina Press. ISBN 9781134823871. Glassay, Cyril, Smith, Houston 2003. The New Encyclopedia of Islam. Roman Altamira. ISBN 9780759101970. Hamdi, Ian Richard A Popular Dictionary of Islam. Routledge. ISBN 9781135797737. Pinault, David Storytelling Techniques in the Arabian Nights. Brill. ISBN 978-9004095304. Van Bladel, Kevin The Alexander Legend in the Quran 18-83-102. In Reynolds, Gabriel said. The Quran in its historical context. Routledge. Van Donzel, Emery J., Schmidt, Andrea Barbara 2010. 
Gog and Magog in Early Eastern Christian and Islamic Sources. Brill. ISBN 978-9004174160. Wasserstrom, Stephen M. 2014. Between Muslim and Jew, The Problem of Symbiosis Under Early Islam. Princeton University Press. ISBN 9781400864118. Wheeler, Brannon M. Moses in the Quran and Islamic Exegesis. Routledge. Yamanaka, Yuriko, Nishio, Tetsuo The Arabian Nights and Orientalism, Perspectives from East and West. I. B. Tories. ISBN 9781850437381. Further reading Karat Sahih Bukhari, English translation, Hadith No. 6326 Karat Kathar, 2002. Tafsir ibn Kathar. Surah al kaf Electronic web only document last updated 26 October 2002. Tafsir.com. Extracted on of September 2010 from https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh oh seven oh nine two eight oh one twenty twenty one slash http colon slash slash com slash default. Asp, SID equals eighteen and TID equals twenty nine thousand nine hundred eight.